Ciao Juventino of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel, press conference of Max Allegri. Guys, in life there are no certainties, and by consequence in football there are no certainties, everything can happen. We don't know what the future will look like, but it's true that we have some feelings sometimes. And listening, hearing, watching the press conference of Max Allegri today, I have a feeling that it's not a certainty that at the end of the season we can say really goodbye to Max Allegri. But not only I have the feeling, I think that also Max knows already about. And I will try to explain you through that press conference of today. So Maximo of like if you didn't yet, please continue to subscribe to the channel. I told you this is the second video of the day. This morning, a good one, an important video where we spoke about the potential sale of Gleison Bremer, potentially asking a big price for Mattia Sule, but he can be on the market. We spoke about the perspective from the Granata fans, Torino fans that are looking at the Derby della Mole. So go back and watch it because it's an important one. Now we start. We start with the only two topics that they spoke about, about off the field. On the field, doubts about the predicted lineups. There are two on the wings, Kostic or Illing. And on the other side, Cambiaso or Wea. So we can say that 9 on 11 are sure to start. The goalkeeper, the three men in defense, the duo up front with Vlaovic, Chiesa and Yil is probably on the bench. And then in the midfield, Locatelli, Rabiot. The only other doubt that I can probably have in mind is if Wea starts, can Cambiaso start as a Mezzala or we continue as a McKinney? So the doubts, there are not a lot. 9 on 11 are done, 8 on 11 we can see maybe probably the same exact 11 that we played against Fiorentina or that we played against Lazio in that Coppa Italia. That being said, there was a second topic that spoke about football, about the tough game that it will be in the Derby della Mole because Torino is not conceding a lot of goals. Only 15 clean sheets in the last 31 games of Serie A. That means one goal conceded every two games. It's the fourth best defense in Serie A, I believe. So it will be a tough one, especially for the importance of the game. They are aggressive as a team. They will be even more aggressive. They are structured and organized. They will be even more structured and organized. So pay attention for the game. It will be a tough one. Repeated by Max Allegri in that press conference. And that's it. We didn't spoke or they didn't speak about the field more than these two questions. The takeaway I have for that press conference of Max Allegri is that he's sending a clear message to everyone, to the management, to the supporters. And again, eh, what I'm telling you now is a feeling that I have. The message that he's sending is, I'm about to do what you asked me to do. I'm about to do what I promised you that I would do. You told me, that's what we have. That's what we can put at your disposal as a team. And we are satisfied if you reach Champions League and do a beautiful Coppa Italia run. Looks like he doesn't want to take the full blame for something that everyone was aware would have been totally unrealistic. Means an obligation to win the Scudetto. This is the feeling I have. That Max Allegri is already thinking, at the end of the season I will sit at the table with the management of Juventus and I want to tell them, guys, I reached what I needed to do, what you asked me to do. If we have to split the roads, it is because you decide that we need to split roads. But it can't come from me because I did what you asked me to do. How do I come to that feeling? Because three times he spoke about his future in the press conference of today. In three different questions. Dribbling, of course. Listen to what he said. The first one. He spoke about the letter of Elkan. And the question was, what about the fact that you were not mentioned? The trust put on Juntoli, etc., etc. He's dribbling and he's saying important letter from John where he's asking the involvement of the next gen project which we are doing has been asked already three years ago and that's what we are doing we are showing it with facts that's the answer of Max is he correct when he's saying it yes he's correct then we can discuss about does he want to do it it was he obliged to do it because of injuries or whatever but a reality is he's doing it and he's saying it publicly that was what they asked me to do, and I'm doing it. Second time that he's speaking about the future. I'm not thinking about the future yet because we didn't qualify yet. We didn't reach our objectives yet. There are 40 days that are missing. We are working since six, seven months to qualify to the Champions League, as asked and confirmed by the club publicly. Despite all the problematics that we had, probably he's referring to a Pogba, 
uh, fagioli. But despite of that, despite of the way of playing, that is probably speaking about the fact that has received a lot of criticism, despite all of these things, we are still in the run for the two objectives that were asked. Now, of course, we need to reach them because at the moment they were not reached. And the third time that he's speaking about this, we didn't speak with the club yet at the moment. The priority is to qualify to Champions League as it makes a difference of 100 million euro. Then the club, as always, will decide what's the best. What can we understand from these three paragraphs? The club will decide. And that's what I told you. I have a feeling that he wants to sit on the table, at the table, and telling them, you decide. Because what I had to do has been fulfilled. Playing with next gen, qualifying to Champions League, what you even asked me publicly to do, and what I promised you, because I didn't promise you that I could do better with what you gave me at disposal, without transfer market, etc., etc. And if we are stopping here, I can even understand it. Honestly, I can understand it. If you are hired for another project with another management, the things are changing in the meanwhile, and they are telling you, Guy, I'm sorry, we can't do a Mercato session. We need to go in Champions League because it's vital, because it makes a difference in terms of revenues financially. We are obliged to. And you go, and you, despite everything, never complaining about Pogba situation, Fajoli, whatever, and you qualify, you did what you had to do. But there is something that is missing. First, we already said the qualification to Champions League in a beautiful Coppa Italia run. One, and he's about to do them. Two, doing, doing it with sustainable team, involvement of next gen. And it's true that he's doing it with this team. Despite the fact that we are not playing in Europe, he's doing it. There is a third one that people are not mentioning a lot. But I went back to the video that I made here from Scannavino. It was in August. You can find the video back. I believe the title was Feet on the Ground. That was the big message by Scanavino to the supporters. Feet on the ground. But at a certain moment, on top of everything that he's asking, he's also saying, we want to go with better result. Expressing a better way of playing. And here we are not matching what Max Allegri is doing. We are not matching what has been asked by Max Allegri. Because if we're looking at match day 30, we have exactly the same result as the year before and two years before. Now we played one more game, match day 31, that we won, luckily. But we are there in terms of results. We are exactly in line in what we did in the past. And if we're speaking about expressing way of playing, guys, it would be a lie and not objective to say we didn't improve. Because if you are looking at the big part of the season, I saw a lot of improvements in a lot of areas. Of course, it was not enough. Of course, we should have done much better. Of course, it's not matching what I want. But I saw some improvements in defense. I saw some improvements in parts of games. Up front, I saw some improvement with change of style in the middle with the mezzala that goes wider, the, the wing that is going in. I saw some improvements. Unfortunately, all these improvements from the moment that we had that drop on the 27th of January, they all disappeared. And we went back. And we went back to square one. And that's a problem. I tell you, huh? I tell you, if we would have had a reverse season, means starting how we did in the last period and finishing how we started the season, probably today we would have another discussion. But that's not the reality. The reality is that we lost everything that we were building. And they were only baby steps. Huh? And that's why when I'm listening to a question about Fiorentina, of the journey that he's saying, what about the criticism that you received after the performance against Fiorentina? He says criticism is important, is welcome. I accept the criticism, especially when it's done by capable persons. I listen to them because I try to improve. Great, fantastic. But then he's going in defense mode. He's saying uh, versus Fiorentina, don't forget, they didn't have a shot on target until the 65th minute. And it's true, huh? But do you remember the second half? This is not the Juventus that needs to be shown in April. This is not the Juventus that we need to see after three seasons of Max Allegri. And if you are pairing it with the first 
press conference, the one of Torino, with Juric, the coach that said, actually praising Max Allegri, there is no Allegri way of playing. There is no Allegri team praising him for his adaptability to the opponents. Well, I tell you, I have always defended that big skill that Max Allegri has. Two things, adapting with the player he has at disposal. There is a false myth of Max Allegri only believes in 3-5-2 because it's not true if you're looking at the pack. He played in 3-5-2, 4-4-2, 4-2-3, one, whatever formation. He's looking at the player at disposal and he's saying, this is the one that can be the most, that can give me the most guarantees. And he showed it a lot of time, adapting also during the season. And one of his biggest skills, like Yuri is saying, is understanding the opponents and preparing the team to block the other opponents' ideas and way of playing. He's able to do it before the game. He's able to do it during the game with some changes. But the problem is that it can't be enough because you need that extra touch. Okay, you block them. Okay, you read how they are playing. But what about your answer? And this is what Juventini are missing. This is what makes the difference in a better way of playing as by Scanavino. What you are proposing, what is the label of Max Allegri's Juventus? Is it a counter-attacking team that is killing it in counter-attack, like, for example, Real Madrid was doing? Is it a possession team like the one of Italiano? Is it a possession team that is playing in short spaces like the one of Manchester City? Is it the Tiki Taka as the ex-Barcelona? What is Juventus? I have no problem eh, in having a defensive team. I have no problem in having a balanced team. I have no problem in having an offensive team, whatever. But that's the thing that is probably missing. And why today we can't say there is an evolution, there is a way, better way of playing, better play expressed by Max Allegri. That's where he's feeling. And probably when he will sit at the table at the end of the year, he will say, I give you a qualification to Champions League. Hopefully, you can also say, we won that Coppa Italia. I did it because you asked me to do so, and I did it with what you gave me as resources. The next-gen players, no mercato, whatever. So you have put me in difficulty, and I did what you did, told me to do. And I believe that at the certain moment, they will also come back with that Scanavino interview, saying, yeah, but what about the way of playing? Where we saw parts, but it's not enough. Again, eh? I'm speaking about Beppe. I'm speaking as someone that watched the press conference without knowing the background, without knowing what's happening in the offices of Juve. A feeling that I have. And a feeling of a takeaway that, is, that I'm taking from that press conference. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Maximo of like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Grazie, forza. Juve. Ciao.